welcome to Shafi. Today I am going to talk about how you can do your C programming practical work in your mobile. Most of you you might not have computer system at home, so you are not able to apply your programming knowledge practically. Just when uh, you write programs in copy or in sheet of paper, you will not understand how does it work. And what are the minor mi mistakes that you do while writing programs? Sometimes some common mistakes also we are doing like semicolon and all. So to do that, uh, there are many programs in App Store or Play Store. You can search like uh, coding for C. Then at present I have two applications. One is CXX Droid and another one is coding C. This one is uh, this one I found quite better one. And as these applications are free, this comes with ads. So if you don't want to see unnecessary ads, you can turn off your data or if you want to support the developer so that they can do they can continue the research work for you then you can turn on the ad now let's see how can we can write a program in mobile first on the application as I have already did one program here it's appear here to remove that one or to type new one you tap on menu then this you can save it menu then open And as this application is uh, very new, so here you will miss some something like a new file option is missing here. So still you can practice it. Suppose I want to write a new program, so just remove all the things. Like I am deleting the previous command. Now I want to display this hello world. Or that you write int main then bracket on and off this all you will get just before the keyboard all the symbols which are very much necessary to write a program after that you will need bracket also and inside that to give tab space some uh, apps that tab comes automatically but here does not does not come so you have to give it manually tab option is there You will need only one tab. Tap on tab, then write print app and within the bracket you write whatever you want to display. You need the double quotation. Here are the double quotation like hello world. After that semicolon now go next line and here return as our main function is integer type we must return something so here will return zero it is not o many students make this mistake in place of o zero they are writing o while you write it o it will not work now to run the program you can tap on run, run menu and if you want to give another name to the file you go save and by default you will get some name here change the name suppose I am giving it here try so done now let's run you can see here hello world now let's do a program in loop I want to display this hello world line uh, sentence 10 times how we will do it 
so we'll go to previous line of hello world here we'll take one variable int i and after that we'll write for loop for i equal 1 then i less than equal to 10 then i plus plus then we'll go to the next line we'll add loops bracket here that is a curly braces closing one will cut from here and after the hello world we will add the closing now let's run the program you will see here hello world hello world hello world 10 times but you can see all the things are together so remove that part we will do another thing what we will do after the hello world we are going to add one slash n now see the difference so everything will be in new line so this way you can do your c programming practice in mobile even if you don't have a computer and i accept that it is quite irritating and difficult to type programs in a mobile because all the time we have to search for the symbols but still at least you can practice without a computer in mobile so for today's video this much only i want to say to you about c programming thank you for watching see you in a new video till then take care and bye